what is criminal profiling? Probably not what you think it is, or maybe at, at least not what you've heard or seen in books on TV. The reason I'm so familiar with this topic is because my mom is a juvenile probation officer for the 6th district in the state of Iowa. Um, I'm also looking to pursue criminal justice after high school, so I, I've just been around it a lot and I'm interested in it. Um, today I will give you information about the career, the career of a psychological or criminal profiler. I'll tell you what it is, how to become one, and what you or I might do to get the job. What is it? Uh, physical profiling is when the known facts of a crime are analyzed, including the scene, crime scene, victim, and forensic evidence in order to identify the characteristics of the individual that committed the crime. The crime. In other words, by looking at the details of the crime, the personality of the individual that committed the crime can be determined. Um, criminal profilers go through a series of steps, and here's some of the steps. They, um, like they evaluate the crime or the criminal acts, and then they go to the crime scene, and then they look at the victim. And then they go and look at police reports and op the, autops the autopsy of the suspect. They start a profile with offender characteristics and then they gather information and then try to find suspects. So with along these with along with this with along the steps, they use three main questions. Um, the three main questions are what evidence is present in the scene, what is the motive, and who is the suspect. Um, there's three different types of criminals. There's born criminals. Insane criminals and criminal criminaloids. Born criminals have physical character characteristics, characteristics that mark them as less evolved, any more primitive, so they're like born criminals. Um, insane criminals are seen as suffering from mental or physical Ill illness that cause them to be offenders. And criminaloids are the largest class of offenders. They don't have like specific characteristics, but they are the but they are categorized so they are they later developed a diagnosis for psychopathic personality disorder so your best bet in criminal profiling would be to get a dual credit in psycholo psychology and criminal justice and then to gain job experience in working in law enforcement ideally as an investigator Many psychological or criminal profilers end up working for the FBI. Um, the FBI was originally or originated from a force of special agents created by created in 1908 by a, an attorney by the name of Attorney General Charles Bonaparte. Um, the FBI's mission is to protect you, your children, and your communities, your your, and your businesses from the most dangerous threats, threats face, facing our nation ranging from terrorists, cyber villains, corrupt government, government officials, street gangs, child predators, and serial killers. Along the way, they help defend our country. Um, the FBI Academy is located on 547 acres on the Marine Corps base in Quantico, Virginia. Um, much of the FBI's training takes place there, and they go, they like search for, F or they search for law enforcement agents and new agents to pick and get into the system. Um, the, acad the Academy also serves as a premier learning and research center and an advocate for the best practices throughout the global crim criminal justice community. Um, there are 18 characteristics that indic indicate a born criminal, so along with the questions and the steps, they go back and they, they link different crime scenes together with these characteristics, so there's just like abnormalities of the face or the body or just different things that they link different things together to help them figure out what their, who their who their criminal is or who the suspect is. Um, I did a case study on s stopping a serial sniper. Uh, so there's this guy in Suffolk County, New York. There had been a series of multiple sniper shootings within within miles away from each other, approximately at the same time. Investigators from Suffolk County Police Department began linking the shootings together. And so based off a psychological profile or criminal profiling, they, um, super supervisors directed officers to pay particular attention to vehicles containing lone white males. Um, 
so after this had happened, people were like going crazy because there was a sniper shooting in New York. And so they made a database, and the database system was designed to like try to track existing people that like looked that signaled the information that they had put out. It linked a couple of homicides to the serial sniper, sniper crit case, but there is no concrete evidence that was found. So finally, having suspects, they had a top lead on the, na the name of a young man who had been identified by various department sources and offered, offered by a parole officer. He had a criminal history and he was a per perchant for or perchant for firearms. Um, his re his re residence sat in the middle of all the sniper shootings and he was working for an auto supply store making deliveries like where the like among where the shootings were so he was a big suspect in that and he uh, violated his parole they caught him on surveillance and he violated his parole and he I don't remember what he was doing but he had he was had firearms so he was that and so they kind of like suspected stuff, so they kind of like looked into it and they took the guns that he wasn't supposed to have and they took it into forensic stuff and they looked at it and he, so on August 12, 1995, the suspect pled guilty to one count of murder, two counts of attempted murder, and one count of burglary. Um, he received 35 years to a life, to life in prison. And in closing, like this sniper case, it presented challenges to law enforcement, but they got it done. and. They used criminal profiling in the process. Um, so is criminal profiling what you really thought? Does, does criminal minds really portray every aspect of all the steps and questions of the long and fierce cycle? Many people think of profilers as sketch artists or pe FBI people in snazzy vests, but in, reali in reality they get down to business and do the dirty work.